The use of the wild man um, in my drawing um, has gone back, uh, it goes back several years. Um, I first encountered the wild man um, in the drawings of Martin Schungauer in 2012. Uh, when I was doing a residency, an exhibition project at um, in Vienna at um, a project space called Schleifmogast 12 to 14. And um, while I was there, I encountered um, these etchings um, at the Albertina Museum, um, which has an incredible education program. So you can, as an artist or uh, educator, you can go there and research the works. Um, and I was able to pull out a bunch of the etchings by Schungauer um, which were uh, interesting for me on a number of levels. Um, you know, primarily it's this, the idea of this, um, this sort of half, uh, not quite human, not quite uh, beast, this sort of in-between or liminal character uh, that for me is, is queerly centered around the landscape and the idea of personified landscape. So um, my philosophy is there's no separation between land and body. Land is body. So, uh, you know, the depiction of a landscape, or so the depiction of a, of a, of a, of a body is really the depiction of, um, of a landscape. Um, and my work has come to, to sort of, um, to surround that, the idea of, uh, political idea of land as body, as, um, in the sense that there is no separation between the two. Um, so the wild man is this interesting character that, em that embodies some of those ideas. Um, you know, for this exhibition, um, which, you know, I started thinking about and, um, uh, and reacting to what was just sort of happening uh, in the world around me, of course, primarily the, um, the COVID pandemic. Um, but how that sort of transformation of the world came about because of human intervention um, and human encroachment on the land. Um, and so our part in this pandemic that um, isn't always addressed, um, but it's always somewhere in the back of our head. And I think it, I, I think it creates a sense of melancholy about, um, you know, our, our um, uh, I guess, our place in the world and how we impact the world and other animals and uh, beings that we share the world with. Um, so really the wild man sort of steps in as this, um, as this, I guess, so it is, they are self-portraits. They are me as the wild man. Um, and I sort of base my likeness, um, you know, somewhere between, uh, myself and Schungauer's wild men. Um, I just have a picture here of, of the um, one of the etchings, uh, one of the many etchings that I studied. So his his body is sort of covered with fur, and he's usually singularly uh, in the landscape um, doing any number of things. Sometimes he's holding up like a the shield uh, of a uh, of like a noble family or something like that. Um, but oftentimes he's, he's just alone and and just sort of doing. Uh, any number of, uh, of sort of ambiguous things. So in my drawings, in my representation um, of this uh, of this being or, or embodying this being um, through my likeness, um, yeah, I'm just sort of doing um, very, um, I don't know, sort of um, sweet, tender, um, things. I'm, I'm bathing, I'm pulling up wildflowers, I'm putting wildflowers in my hair, um, or, or the wild man is putting wildflowers flowers in his hair. Um, and I guess it's, uh, and also conjuring a black hole, which, which becomes much more, I guess, mystical and or magical uh, an act. Um, and really, it's just about, uh, it, 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 it's about talking about transforming the land.